Anik. And these two bottles are the results of what I have achieved in doing your Future of Wealth 2.0 course. It's a wonderfully prepared course. It is brilliant. It takes you, pushes you to the limit if you do it properly. If you don't do it properly, you do not get the results out of it. And I have recommended it to a number of people as well. Coming back to these two bottles, I have managed to extract from my machine, which is what is our limiting factors in the subconscious mind. Mine was denying myself success. Also recognition. And since I have actually taken my own drops, the results are jaw dropping. My inner vibrational being is absolutely tuning up so well. I say we've got to raise our vibrational level to overcome sickness and health. That is actually really, really correct. But this addresses the stopper. No matter how much people take on board the courses, they have hidden stoppers and it is in the subconscious mind and they don't know it. Arnik, you, you said something quite important in the course and that was on shyness and networking and that was a big part of me looking at myself and taking that step to push myself out. And as a consequence, I had a two hour Skype session with a man from Canada who's a brain training engineer. I would never have ever have dreamed of having that conversation and when he actually found out, I forwarded an email to a course I'd done which related back into something you'd done on your course. They said, oh no, this is too hard for me. You need to speak to this guy. This is a guy they'd be telling the whole world how hard it was to get contact with and the hoops they jumped for. But they gave me his email. I emailed him within an hour. He had here is my private Skype number. I want to hear from you. And he, he gave me the confidence and the reinforcement so now I can take and develop the product and hopefully perhaps have it in a digital form you know, for the world to be able to do in the not too distant future. So the openings are just happening. And I honestly, the, the feeling of, the inner feeling of I have done it and I've done it myself without anybody else's input is fantastic. The core values was quite challenging as you actually indicated it would be. I did go and ask friends and I've turned what they've said into a positive and really take it on board. I have completed lots of little mini steps as part of the core values to get to the start of my vision board. The success drops were in those original steps right at the start. I clearly set out um, making success drops with achieved. I, set, I wrote that to myself on the 16th of the 5th, 2014, and I achieved it on the 10th of the 6th, 2014. But I will tell you this, nothing would let me do it, and I tried a number of different times and ways. There was a block there, I kept going back into the course, digging and digging deeper within myself, going back and re reading it, listening, going and looking at other things and then a thought came to my mind, try it this way. Don't know where the thought came from, it just came, try it this way. I did it and it worked straight off. And what it's opened up is mind blowing. I have now tried it on a number of people in all sorts of different situations. The results have been virtually instantaneous and under some exceedingly trying circumstances, one including a, a, a baby dying before it was born. And the, the grandmother said to me, without those drops, I would not have held together like I did. There is something in them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My teenage son has a conversation with me now. It's not two dots, a grunt and a dash. And all parents can relate to that. My teenage daughter, instead of stomping the foot and storming off, 
we're having real conversations and she's now achieving the potential. English was really hard for her. She came back, I said, how's it, how's it going? Oh, mum, I've done 600 words. Now, there's no way that would have happened two weeks ago, and I can honestly say that. I scanned a lady who has had long-term cancer issues, does everything right. She was very hesitant at trying them because of deep religious beliefs. And she came back, she asked a few people, they said, you've got nothing to lose. She came back. I scanned her and she said, oh my God, I didn't realise I had all of this. I had it. The following day, she rang me, I was in clinic, I had a client. She said, I've got to tell you this. You do not know how you've changed my life in that instant. She was crying. She's been crying all morning. It's not crying because I'm unhappy. It's just this incredible release I am having. She said, I can't thank you enough. Now, I would not normally ever say that to people, but, you know, this is wow. You're really making a difference in people's lives. And I feel as though I've really found my life's purpose. So as part of my life's purpose, I'm going to develop this a lot, lot more. And I just would not have got there without this course because it didn't push, I wasn't pushed hard enough to really dig deep enough. And if that's my small contribution to mankind, well, I'm placed. So go forth, Anna, can keep doing the good work and let's hope more people dig deeper. Bye from New Zealand.